which is always my mantra, right? I'm always talking about advanced bookings because I think that's the best way to save them. That's what I call Aloha Spirit. The World Championship, it's 32 miles to cross the channel from Molokai to this part of Oahu on the east side. Aloha, you guys. Welcome again to another Hawaii vacation to connection. Got a lot of questions here, so we're going to get right to them. It's a beautiful day in Hawaii. Ne. It's Aloha Friday. This is our 467th podcast for July 15th, 2011. Where has this year gone? Lots of great deals if you're uh, wanting to come to Hawaii right now. July, especially last minute deals in July, we've got some because for some reason, July didn't pan out as well as we expected here in the islands. I was talking to a hotelier yesterday and he let me know that he's only 50% full. Found a great deal uh, for somebody last minute for $400 for a condo. So, you know, you want to, if I don't know what happened in July, but get in touch with us. There's some great deals. And uh, of course, the best time to come, October. We've got great deals in October. So get in touch with us, 1 800 843 8771. I had a chance to check in with the folks from the Turtle Bay Resort. And I, you know, I forgot that the Turtle Bay Resort really has so many things to do out there including segways. They have like 15 miles of trails up there. That's a property up on the north shore of Oahu. And if you want to get out of the hustle and bustle of Waikiki, that is really the only property up on the north shore. And there's just so many things that you can do there that I kind of forgot about. And uh, we did a video, so check out the video we did. Uh, we interviewed the folks from there and uh, you'll find uh, some great information about that property up on the North Shore, the Turtle Bay, and there's some great rates that we've got going there as well. So get in touch with us if you're planning your trip to Hawaii. Now every Friday we sit down, we talk story, and we do, we answer questions, okay? So if you've got a question you'd like me to answer, just drop me a line on the Facebook page or bruce at hawaii-aloha.com and if I use your question out here, guess what? We're gonna send you out some uh, really delicious Hershey macadamia nut kisses. Do we have a bag of those to show the folks? I think we might even have a bag. Now you can only get these in Hawaii. That's the big deal about them. So if you do win them, uh, be very frugal with them. Only eat a couple a day. <laughs> but yeah, these are, the, these are the kisses and you can only get these in Hawaii and they have little chips of macadamia nuts in them. Isn't that yummy? Also a couple of people have asked me about what we're doing about that big contest, the giveaway. We're still doing it. We just, we're actually hiring a person that's going to start next week who's going to be just doing promotions for us. And we'll have lots of great ideas. And this promotion that we're working on, and if you want to get in on it early, let me know. And we're going to give you a, uh, a, a trip to Hawaii for two, five nights, all expenses paid. And the idea behind the contest is for you to tell us what you would do for that trip to Hawaii. You have to do a video and you have to submit that video to us. So what would you do? How far would you go to get a trip to Hawaii for free? Okay, for two people, no matter where you are. So put on your, your uh, marketing hats, put on your advertising hats, put on your uh, viral video hats, and uh, come up with something really crazy that we have to give you this trip because it's so good. I mean, we've had some good ones already. But we'll be officially announcing this in, the, in a couple of, uh, as soon as we can. But very soon, we will be announcing it officially. We'll have a page for you to upload the video and everything. So, with that being said, I'm looking forward to this weekend. Uh, we're going to the, the, the addition, the Waikiki Edition, which is one of the nicest, newest hotels here in Hawaii. And we're going to be getting a spa treatment. So let's get right into the questions here. We got some great questions here for you. Uh, first one comes in from Karen Whitworth. And she says, what is the name of that shrimp truck up on the North Shore with all the signatures on it? It's the best ever. I always suggest it to friends who visit Oahu, but I can never remember the name. Well, actually, the name of it is Giovanni's. And there's actually two of those trucks. There's one on the way to the North Shore, not too far from... Polynesian Cultural Center, and there's one further up in Holly Eva. There's two of those trucks. But I would, I would submit to you that it may not be the best shrimp truck in all of Oahu. Okay, We did a thing called the Shrimp Truck Trek Tour uh, a couple of years ago where we went around and we visited some of the best shrimp trucks. And the consensus was that Mackey's, which is in Holly Eva, was actually the best shrimp truck. So... 
Giovanni's is still great. And if you're coming to Oahu and you're going to be up on the North Shore, you definitely want to do the shrimp truck thing. You know, these shrimps, I don't know, you know, a lot of them are, are actually farmed up on, in Kahuku, up on the North Shore, and they're delicious. They're really fresh. And they do uh, this amazing garlic scampi, shrimp scampi thing. And these shrimp trucks have gotten creative over the years and they have lots of variety of the shrimp truck, of the, sh of the uh, shrimp. Um, and they do, you know, like they do a plate lunch type thing. You get one scoop rice, you get a little mac salad, and you get these great shrimps, and sometimes even toss salad. And the pepper shrimp, I believe, was the big winner when we did it a couple of years ago. So hopefully that helps you out. Karen, and you win a bag of Hershey Nut Macadamia Kisses. Congratulations to you. Remember, we do this every Friday. So if you want to join us in the live stream, we do it between 9 and 10 o'clock on Fridays. Uh, please join us in the live stream, and you can get to that be, uh, right on our, uh, web, uh, on our website, hawaii-aloha.com. Next question is from Christina. She's also a Facebook friend. She says, what do you recommend to do at night on Oahu? Now, she wasn't too specific because I don't know this woman. I don't know what she likes to do, but there's so much. To, I mean, Oahu, and you're probably going to be staying in Waikiki because, you know, 99% of the hotels are there. It's where a lot of action is, and there's so many things to do. Um, if you like sports fishing, I like, I like to do this sports fishing thing. If you really want to do something fun like that, I recommend the shark fishing or the bottom fishing at night. Now, for those of you who are like animal lovers, please, they, they, they catch the sharks, they release them back. It's not like they kill the sharks um, that's one thing if you want to do sports if you like a sports thing they also have the Oahu ghost tours at night which is really fun we, uh, Jesse uh, our new activity guy just did that and uh, he told me it was really great very very fun and kind of scary uh, another thing you might want to do is like a, a moonlight dinner have you all thought about you know people think of sunset dinners but what about a moonlight dinner and there's a couple of places I can suggest to you in Waikiki to do that including Michelle's restaurant down towards the Diamond Head side further down like the Queens Beach further down Queens Beach side down that way um, another thing that you might want to consider is we have some great shows that you can do at night in Waikiki there's the uh, SOS show which has been running forever that's Society of Seven and that's a very popular show. Skew's a little older, and I'm not sure what you know demographic you are. Also, the the magic of Polynesia. That's another night show. And you know, almost all of uh, a lot of the restaurants and bars down there have pauhana. Pauhana is what we call after work, where you hang out and just drink and talk story. And that's a great way to experience some of these historic hotels. Like if you can't afford to stay at the Royal Hawaiian or the Moana Surfrider you know, you could still go out and hang there, you know, and you can have a drink and listen to the music. They're very open, you know, there's kind of like an open door policy, I would say, in some of these high-end hotels. They'll let you go in and you still can enjoy those properties. Um, I think, you know, that pretty much covers it. Of course, there's tons of clubs. Now, uh, if you're young, if you're a young person, you might want to consider going down to Chinatown. There's a lot of hip, cool clubs, including the venue and uh, Bar 59 and... Uh, Gosh, there's just tons of uh, 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 new venue. Uh, what is it called? Not venue. <laughs> new Vin, whatever that, that that wine bar that's down there in Waikiki in, in in Chinatown. Huh? What is it? Yeah, there's that one and. Um, there's tons of really good places, and there's also a thing called First Friday that a lot of young people get involved in, and a great way and a great resource for these kinds of things is a website that I highly recommend. It's called Nonstop Honolulu. In fact, we've teamed up with Nonstop Honolulu, and if you have an, uh, a smartphone like an iPad or an iPhone or Android, download our app. It's Hawaii Aloha. We teamed up with those folks and you can see all of the things that they're posting in there in our news stream. And there's lots of suggestions of fun things for young people to do. And I highly recommend it. And there's like uh, every Friday they tell you what to do over the weekend. And it's great for young people. So check that out. Hopefully that helps you out, Christina. You too have won the, the, the bag of Hershey nut, macadamia nut, whatever kisses. Congratulations to you. Okay, next question comes in. How are we doing on time, by the way? Uh, next question comes in from, let's see here. We've got a lot of questions. I want to make sure I get to some of these here. Okay, Beverly, how much time we got? Okay, we've got time for one more. And this is from Beverly. 
and she says, she's asking, are there still lay makers at the airport? So someone can buy a lay and take home to somebody, or if they're going to pick somebody at the airport, can they get a lay there? Yes, is a simple answer. And, uh, you know, that's part of the tradition here. I mean, if you're going to be going home after your vacation, you want to, you know, you might want to bring back some nice fresh lays. And there's some lay stands that are located right at the airport, and they're pretty reasonably priced. It's not as cheap as you would find, like, in Chinatown or something, but they're reasonably priced, and they're beautiful lays. And you can pick from, you know, usually five to eight of them are out there at any given time, and you can pick beautiful lays out, and they'll, they'll package them up for you so you can take home. Also, if you're visiting or you have visitors uh, coming in or let's say you're going to the airport to pick somebody up, it's just a nice gesture. It's a way of saying aloha. You know, uh, it's something we do for folks here and it's, I think, a really nice touch. And also remember, if you're coming in and you have a package, we can add that to your package. We can add a lay greeting to your package so that when you come in to the airport, um, you know, somebody, a lay greeter will greet you and uh, give you a lay greeting when you come in to uh to the airport so that's a nice touch as well so congratulations to um beverly you have won the kisses congratulations remember get me your email address or your snail mail address so i can uh get you your big prize now this time in our program we'd like to talk about packages that have been booked in the last 24 to 48 hours so if you're planning a trip to Hawaii, here's some ideas for you here's some packages that we've just done uh this is uh, first package here is for two people Coming in from Minneapolis, they're going to Honolulu and Lahui, that's the island of Kauai. On Oahu, they're going to be staying at the Aston Waikiki Beach Hotel. By the way, they're going uh, for 13 nights. This is a pretty pretty long trip from September 11th to the 26th. On Oahu, they're staying at the Aston Waikiki Beach Hotel. they got the Ocean View Room. They've got the breakfast on the beach. They're going to be nine nights there. And then over to Maui at the Outrigger Kahuna Plantation, I'm sorry, to Kauai, to the Outrigger Kahuna Plantation. They're going to be in a one-bedroom ocean view. Total package price on this one is $45.35. Great deal. Two islands, 13 nights. You really can't beat that. Congratulations to Emma and Jacob uh, Care. Emma and Jacob Care, congratulations to you guys. You're going to have a wonderful trip to Hawaii. You know, you're going to be here during the uh, the big sunset on the beach thing. So uh, you're actually going to be able to see uh, Hawaii Five-O premiere. So you guys are very lucky. We should let them know about that. Also, next package we have here is for two people. They're coming in from Phoenix. They've got two islands as well, Oahu and Lahui on Kauai. And uh, they're going to be staying at the Kanapali Beach Hotel over on Maui. And on Kauai, they're doing a timeshare. They're doing their own thing on Kauai. Total package price on this one, $22.86. So that would be uh, three nights at the Kanapali Beach Hotel, your round-trip airfare, $22.86. Great deal. Congratulations to Earl and Pamela Alton. You're going to have a fantastic time in Hawaii. Nei. So that's going to do it. want to thank you for tuning in. Don't forget forget to tune in next Tuesday. We do the podcast on Tuesday. It's not done live, but you can catch it on our podcast page. So get over to hawaii-aloha.com slash podcast. In the meantime, please keep in touch. I love hearing from you guys. It makes this show so much better when I hear from you. So if you've got a question, you've got a comment, you need some help with your Hawaii vacation, please get in touch with us. 1-800-843-8771. That's going to wrap it up for my beautiful wife, Yalai, for all of us here at Hawaii Aloha Travel. We'll say aloha and Mahalo.